Hello friends, welcome back. Hati, welcome to you. As one of the students requested, I am just trying to provide the proof for this. So let's go ahead with this proof. How it can be proved that the sum of squares of diagonals of a trapezium is equal to the sum of squares of non-parallel sides and twice the product of parallel sides. Suppose let us say that ABCD is a trapezium with diagonals AC and BD. Then we have to prove that AC square plus BD square equal to AD square plus BC square plus 2 into AB into CD. We have to prove that sum of squares of the diagonals that is AC square plus BD square equal to sum of squares of non-parallel sides that is AD square plus BC square plus 2 into product of the parallel sides which are AB and CD. Now we have to prove that. So for that certainly we want to leverage Pythagoras theorem. So from A and B I will drop two perpendiculars so that we will have AE and BF which are nothing but equal to the height of the trapezium. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have dropped perpendiculars AE and BF. Now we know that AB equal to EF because ABEF is a rectangle now and we see here lot of Pythagoras theorem right angle triangles one we see ADE another we see BCF then we see AC, AEC and then we see BFD. So leveraging these right angle triangles we should be able to prove it. So first let's go ahead to the LHS and what is that we have to write down. Let's start from here. What is AC square plus BD square? That's what we want to find out and our answer should go with AD square plus BC square plus 2 into AB into CD. Now what is AC square? AC square is this is a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle where we have AE and EC. So can I go ahead and write down AC square equal to AE square plus EC square. Similarly BD square we see again BD square is a hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. So can we write down BD square equal to BF square plus DF square. Now for our understanding I will just write down here all our Pythagoras theorem whatever we are using so that it is easy we can refer them back. So first one what we use it till now one by one we will write down. So first we have used triangle A, AE square plus EC square so we can write down triangle A, E, C we have AC square equal to AE square plus EC square. That's a Pythagoras theorem we have used from triangle AAC. And next we have used BD square equal to BF square plus DF square. Let's write down that triangle also. We have used a triangle BFD. In that we have written BD square hypotenuse square equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides that is BF square plus DF square. Okay. Now let's go back to the next step here. We have AE square but we are interested to get AD. We have AE we are interested in AD and we see that AD is hypotenuse of this right angle triangle and similarly we have one more right angle triangle here. So let's go ahead and write down them also. The first one I will write down triangle AED in that we will have AD square equal to AE square plus DE square. That's one triangle, right angle triangle we have. The other one is at the rightmost side. We have BFC where I can write down BC square equal to BF square plus FC square. Once we are done with this, now let's go back. We are interested to convert this into AD but we have AE. So why can't I write down AD square minus DE square here? Instead of AE square, I will write down AD square minus DE square plus EC square. 
Now if you look at EC, EC is nothing but EF plus FC. Because we know that EF is equal to AB. So we can get down our AB because we need AB there. So EF plus FC whole square plus BF square. BF square we will write it as it is. BF square actually we need BC square. We have BF square. So can I lose, use the same logic that BF square equal to BC square minus CF square. So let's write down that BC square minus CF square plus DF square. DF square is DE plus EF whole square. Let's look at this step because within two steps we'll be getting your answer if we understand this properly. We have been we have been given AC square plus BD square. AC square is AE square plus EC square. And BD square is BF square plus FD square. Now we have AE, we are interested in AD. So we have written AD square minus DE square. After that we have EC square. EC square is EF plus FC square. And then we have BF square. BF square is we can write it as BC square minus CF square because we need BC square. Then afterwards we have DF square. DF square is DE plus EF square. Now we will leverage this property that AB is equal to EF and we solve this moving forward. So let's go to the next step. Now let us see what we need in the RHS. We have AD square. Yes, I need AD square. So that's good. So we have taken care of this guy. We need also BC square. Yes, we got BC square here. So we'll write down that. Then we will write down minus DE square and I have minus CF square plus EF plus FC. We know EF is AB. So can I say AB plus CF whole square plus we have DE plus EF whole square but EF is AB so can I say AB plus DE whole square. Within two steps we are going to get the solution. Now let's expand the whatever the squares we have we will write it down AD square yes perfect we got it BC square we are okay then what is left out AB plus CF whole square can I write down AB square plus CF square A plus B whole square formula that is 2 into AB into CF plus AB plus DE whole square. So can I write it as AB square plus DE square plus 2 into AB into DE. After that we have negative minus DE square minus CF square. Now you can see that clearly we can cancel CF square and CF square, DE square, DE square gone. So next step is our final step, maybe penultimate. So we can write down AD square plus BC square. Now we have two AB squares if you understand, one AB square here, one AB square here. Then we have two AB CF, AB DE. So why can't I go ahead and write down two AB into AB, that is my two AB square plus 2AB into CF plus 2AB into DE. Now, so when we go to the last step, we will write down AD square plus BC square plus, if you see here, we need 2AB common. So let's take 2AB common. What is left out? 2AB into AB plus CF plus DE. But we know AB plus that is nothing but EF plus CF plus DE is equal to CD. So why can't we go to the next last step and write down AD square plus BC square plus 2 into AB into CD. So that's our proof what we have to do. So let's remember the steps of how we have done this. It's pretty easy. We have to prove that 
AC square plus BD square sum of squares of diagonals is equal to sum of squares of non-parallel sides AD square plus BC square plus 2 into sum of product of parallel side twice product of parallel side that is 2 into AB into CD our logic is pretty simple we just want to leverage Pythagoras theorem so we have dropped two perpendiculars A and to from A and B onto CD that is AE and BF now first we look at AC square we see immediately that AC square is coming from this triangle right angle triangle AE square plus AC square we have written similarly we have seen BD square can be written as BF square plus FD square now we got AE square but our interest is in AD square so why can't I leverage that Pythagoras theorem in this triangle ADE and write down AD square, AE square equal to AD square minus DE square similarly we can write down BC square equal to B, we can write down BF square equal to BC square minus CF square and by substituting EF equal to AB and simplify expanding A plus B whole square formula leveraging we can easily prove that AD square plus BC square plus 2 into AB into CD is our RHS so that's a proof of the theorem related to trapezium as requested by one of the students so please do let me know your feedback on this thanks for your time and, and support I'll catch you once again with another interesting video. Till then, keep smiling and sharing. Bye for now.